Diane and Merle bought this 1987 built home over two decades ago. This is where we've lived for the last almost 26 years. And, you know, this is where our son grew up. But he's 31, so he lives on his own, so we're empty nesters. Now, Diane thinks 2,900 square feet is too much house and wants to downsize to something more modern. This house was built in the 80s, and it looks like it was built in the 80s. The dining room is small. The living room is dark, and we hardly ever use that room. The kitchen is small and dated. Would love to have the house be more open, something that's more modern. In every room of the house, the popcorn ceiling needs to be taken out. But now is the time that we can get this renovation done, and it will be what she wants. I don't think so. How much time do you have for me to tell you about this kitchen? This is a quality kitchen. Everything's tight. There's an island that's right in the middle. When I open the dishwasher, I just barely have room here. You have to maneuver around to get over here to unload the dishwasher to put the glasses away. So it just does not work. It meets code. I am not happy with the laundry. I don't have a laundry room. It's a laundry closet. I offered to put up a clothesline. A clothesline. The hall bathroom is also dated. That room needs some TLC. The living room has the original carpet that was put in when the house was built. It is old carpet, but it was very good quality carpet, and it looks fine. We haven't talked about the master bathroom. Look at this tiny door. You can barely fit through this little tiny baby door into the bathroom. And then we come into the bathroom, and we have carpet in the bathroom. Who would put carpet in a bathroom? I like carpet. It's warm to your feet. I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is $350,000. What is the list of must-haves to get you out of this house? And I believe, Merle, you're going to be giving me that information. We want to have at least three bedrooms, We'd like a master bedroom with an ensuite. We're looking for two bathrooms. And as we're getting older, we'd like to have something that's low maintenance and very low upkeep and somewhere close to Diane's work. How far away are you from your work currently? Sometimes it can take me an hour to get to work. An hour to get to work? Yes. What would be kind of the perfect amount of time? Less than 30 minutes. OK. It's not hard to find, is it? Piece of cake. All right, so what is the budget for the new house? This will make it a much easier piece of cake if it's a good budget. $450,000. That doesn't sound too bad. Over to you. This is a house that deserves to be brought back. The house does deserve to be brought back for another family. So tell me what I need to do to convince you to stay. I'd really like an open concept in the whole main floor. And it's chopped up. So I want that opened up as much as possible. Update and open up the kitchen. It's like a time capsule of the 80s. Not a great time either. No, <laughs> no. Update the master bedroom. I'd also like you to create a master bathroom that feels like a spa and update the guest bath. I want all the popcorn ceiling gone out of the whole house. Yeah, you should. And finally, I want you to replace the carpet, the flooring throughout the house. How much do I have to spend? What's my budget? Your budget is $125,000. Whoa, OK. So, wow, uh, that's a long list. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. I think I can give you what you want in this house. And when I'm done, you're going to love it. With a bout of confidence on his side, David gets to work on his search. And Hillary's plan starts with getting on Hank's good side. You brought me coffee. I want to get you in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I believe it. <laughs> you already kind of know what house this is going to be, right? I mean, yeah. little rooms. First thing that's going to happen here is open concept. So this wall goes out, boom, gone. Opens the kitchen up into the dining area. That whole wall has got to come out opens everything up into the living space, and I want that wall out into the sunroom. Great big island for everyone to sit around. Obviously, we're going to be updating and upgrading and redesigning the cabinetry. We need new flooring throughout. Popcorn gone off of the ceilings. Everything gets painted out. Because I will be losing that wall, and I'll, ha I'll be running out of space for cabinetry, just want to close off this wall here and make a new entry here. Gives me more wall space for cabinetry. What's the budget? $125,000. $125? Yeah. First house door for Diana Merle. This house is 1,600 square feet, so the downsize is in full effect. But it still has four bedrooms and two bathrooms and a beautiful open concept main floor. And the best thing about this house, it's 
not the house. Hey, welcome to Closer to Your Work. Yes. I think I'm going to save you about 50 minutes each way. That's great. I love that. I'm just looking at the steep yard and driveway here. That's good exercise. Plus, you're going to be parking at the top. All you have to do is drive your car up. Got to mow it. Come on. You can do it. It oh. is a steep hill, Merle. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on in. Wow. Yes. Wow, this is new. Right. That's open. That's all it open. is open. It's just it one is big, open. One big room. This is Beautiful. really open. Why do you say that like it's a bad thing? This is like a big box this to me. This is completely open. I, I think we want it somewhat open. And for getting Merle to leave the house, I don't think he's going to want to buy something that's this open. What do you think of the kitchen? This is a huge kitchen. Hillary's going to do great things with our kitchen. Hillary's never going to be able to give us a kitchen this big. Let's have a look at the backyard. And it's a good size. Oh. You know, albeit less than what you have, but that's, that's what makes sense. Yes, that's right? the goal. Well, there's nothing to mow here. And as you can see, it wraps right around, which is fantastic. The deck is huge. I love it. Let's yeah, see the rest of the house. this is great. Four bedrooms in this house. Oh, wow. Merle, you're not liking this, uh, are you? I can, no, I can see the look uh, on your face. I mean, I'm like, you are just looking at we, this going, We, we talk David. about downsizing, but right now, I'm not thrilled. <laughs> These rooms and all still seem small to me. He's struggling with downsizing. Your master bedroom. Oh, this is beautiful. Isn't that nice? I this love is nice. this. This is great. And a beautiful bathroom. Well, look at all that glass. And it has this glass shower. Yes. I don't want a glass shower. I don't want to have to clean the glass. It's not the spa bathroom or with a separate tub that you wanted. It does The soap tub. That's true. Otherwise, it's gorgeous. And I like that the tile goes up to the ceiling. That's great. But we're going to have this in our house. We and we're, don't we're... know yet what Hillary's going to be able to do in our bathroom. While David strikes out with his open concept idea, Hillary is about to reveal hers. Open concept. You said you yes. want open concept. Here's the plan. OK. This wow. whole wall will come out, boom, open to the dining room. This whole wall, gone. This wall will be gone to bring that lovely sunroom into this space. It's not. I don't know. That sounds too open for us. I don't think we should take down all these walls. OK, which walls do you not want to take down? I don't think we should take down that whole wall. Maybe take down part of that wall. I would say just take down the left side of it, you know, maybe from this part over. I think that's good enough. Take out that piece of the wall and open it up some, but not too much. I don't think the whole wall needs to come out. OK, that's fine. So we'll leave that one up with your partial opening. But I would love to be able to take that wall down into your sunroom, because that is you're, you're shaking your head. No, I don't want to take no. down that wall. I meant no, let's not take down that wall. That's what I meant. Let's keep that right. I, let's... I want to keep that as a separate room. Mm, OK, well, <laughs> this wall, take that down. I don't think we should take down that wall. No, of course not. OK, one thing at least, that pantry has to go. We're going to lose the pantry. We're we are going, going to lose pantry? that pantry, it comes into the room. I cannot give you a proper layout. I cannot give you a good sized island with that there. And what I can do is close off this wall, change the access point so that it's here. And then that gives me this whole wall to pick up what you used to have in the pantry. You will have a pantry. You'll like this. We'll see. In the downsizing process, I have a townhouse for Diane and Merle. It's a three-level townhouse. It's got three bedrooms, three and a half baths, got a nice open concept main floor, and it's got something I think they're going to be a little surprised about. Price? Let's not forget we're closer to downtown. What do you think of this neighborhood? I love this neighborhood. It's great. I could walk to work from here, so this is perfect. What do you think of the townhouse? I like the townhouse. Low maintenance front yard? Yes. So I don't think I'd need a riding mower for this. You see the backyard. It's even less maintenance than this. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And even though it's, it'll be about downsizing because of the low maintenance, it's probably only about 100 square feet less than what you currently have. Wow. wow. You have your eat-in kitchen family room combination. Now, I know, Merle, you don't like ultra-modern, so I kind of thought this might be a good fit. It's a little more traditional looking. I like it. I don't like open concept, but it's acceptable. And you could paint these cupboards if you want to brighten it up a little bit, if you feel like it's too much wood going on. Merle, probably you would just leave it just the way that it is. I love the way it is, yes. I like wood. The backyard. <laughs> Obviously, it's not huge. But in terms of maintenance, 
Zero. Okay, let's go upstairs. Second floor laundry. Wow. Hey, what's happening with your laundry at home? It's staying downstairs. The master bedroom. Oh. No downsizing in this room. Wow, this is big. Isn't this spacious? <laughs> this is big. This is big. Boom, but it doesn't have a balcony off of it or a fireplace. We never use either of those. We have a balcony, <laughs> we have a fireplace. But it doesn't have use, it. We don't use it. <laughs> there you go, Merle. You just got called out. Nice try. The master bath. Wow. <sighs> Double sink, separate tub and shower. And yes, glass. There's glass. I know you don't like glass. I don't. But there's a tub. Yes. I'm not getting a tub. I guess you just didn't have the space to right. have the big shower yes. and a tub. Right, I had to choose. And okay. I'm getting a big shower, but no tub. As the final touches are put into place, Hillary hopes she's given Merle what he wanted in getting Diane to love it. Finally, yeah, we're ready to go. You excited? I am. Good. I'm anxious. This looks great. <laughs> did a great job. I love it. By painting the wood, it, it has made a huge change, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks totally different. The ceilings, no popcorn on the ceiling. No popcorn. The brand new beautiful floors. I love the floors, yes. Yes, they're beautiful. Wow. <laughs> It's unrecognizable, really. Yes, this is, a, this is another house we just walked in, isn't it? This is huge. Yes, it is huge. <laughs> I didn't expect to get that. Yes. Got more storage here. That was the benefit of moving this entry so that you've got all this storage, this pantry space. It's, it's perfect. The gray cabinets, they're beautiful. I love the old oak, the, the wood, but I like these colors. I like this. I love it. This was the big deal, opening this up. It's perfect for us because we wanted it to feel more open, but without that huge open concept yeah. where everything was open completely. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous. You love puzzles. Oh, oh look at that. And you're me. in the puzzle. <laughs> oh, wow. And you notice there's a subliminal message there for you. <laughs> love. love it. Love it. We're now going to go upstairs to your master bedroom. <laughs> wow. It feels so soothing. The hardwood's such a huge difference over the carpet. It's like you don't even know what to say. It's just so different. This looks great. It really does. And now, when you see the bathroom, that is a huge transformation. <laughs> and I want you to go in first. OK. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is gorgeous. That looks amazing. Beautiful. I have a window. That's what I wanted. I wanted some more light in here. You outdid yourself on this one, I think. <laughs> it's clean, it's white, it's crisp. The toilet is right where it belongs behind the door. The floor is a nice pale gray that works with everything else. And remember, that was carpet. Oh, I do remember that it we was carpet. Had it was disgusting. Carpet in the bathroom. Yeah. And no glass to clean. No glass to clean. I did not want that. Decision made? Yes. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to list it. Wow. <laughs> Low maintenance, walk to work. Yes, I heard about yeah. the house. That's a whole change of lifestyle that's exciting. Yeah. The other house really wasn't that much of a downsize. But the decision was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be because you did such a great job with everything. It's just amazing. Downsizing shall begin. 